In our last video, we compared the iPhone 11 and the new iPhone SE. With both phones having the same chip, we found that the images and videos were very similar. In this video, we wanted to see how well the SE fares against the phone closer in the spectrum, the iPhone XR. First, let's talk about the specs. Both the iPhone SE and XR comes with a single 12 megapixel f1.8 wide lens with image stabilization and is able to digitally zoom in up to five times. Both do not have night mode, a telephoto lens, or an ultra wide lens. Essentially, the main difference between the two phones is the chip and the software processing in the phone. Let's get started. For this first photo, we wanted to test out the SE and the XR's dynamic range by shooting against the sun. Both images look very similar at first glance with slight differences. The XR has blown out highlights in the clouds in the background while the SE is able to process them better. The SE looks like it's able to bring out more color and details in the clouds overall. Both phones handle shadows the same, but we would say the SE has better flares. We found similar results in this next picture. However, the SE looks to handle the shadows a little bit better in this one as it's able to bring out more detail. The SE also seems to have a warmer tone compared to the 10R and again is able to bring out more details and true colors of the skies. Next, we wanted to see how well the SE compares in portraits. From first glance, both images are extremely similar in sharpness and details. The iPhone XR in this case seems to expose her face a little bit better than the SE. However, both pictures are extremely close when it comes to sharpness, bokeh, and colors. Now, portrait mode. For this one, both pictures look pretty similar, but again, the XR seems to be able to draw a slightly better exposure. Both phones are also able to focus on her face, but not on her earrings. The XR also seems to be a bit warmer in portrait mode. This next test, we wanted to see if we would get a different result as we zoom in on both cameras. Both the SE and the XR do not come with a telephoto lens, meaning both phones only have the ability to digitally zoom in up to a max of five times. At five times, both images are barely usable as it is covered with grain and quality is lost. Finally, video. We decided to film both phones at 4K at 24 frames per second in order to get the most light. This one is interesting. The XR looks to have a sharper image when it comes to the plants in front, but the SE has better colors and dynamic range. The XR in this test seems to be a bit more dark while the SE is able to capture all the details in the clouds. Both the SE and the XR are amazing phones with respect to their flagship counterparts. They are both similar in specs, with the SE gaining a slight advantage with the new A13 chip. They also have similar flaws, such as no ultra wide angle lens, no night mode, and a small battery compared to the iPhone 11. Which phone would you choose? Let us know in the comments. In our next video, we'll be doing an iPhone SE low light shootout. Subscribe and stay tuned.